Waking up to this room. It's been cleared out. And, um, oh my God, tape everywhere. Please tell me this is not broken. Okay, so I did a little nip and tuck, but we'll probably have to do some extra later. I don't know what happened. Dude, I don't know if we glued this down or it came apart. Brian and I working on the Merrimack house. He's only got a few days to spare before he gets back onto uh, his other work. Feeding baby. And the other baby has been fed. They're gaining lots and lots of weight. Here we got shrimp being defrosted. I got taquitos in here. Got my baby crying. He wants to eat now. So, gotta just um, set this down, feed him real quick, check the time, and then go pick up scoops because Brian's in a meeting. Every single Monday, I feel like I have to go pick Scooper up because Brian is like so busy. Monday and Tuesdays, but anyways, finally out of my room. Usually I'm cooped up in the, uh, the master because I take care of the babies and you know, I've been kind of stuck in there. Um, as you can see, um, the room downstairs is cleared out. And originally, we were gonna have Brian's brother like stay here for a year, but then Brian just pulled a plug because he said that it was something that was going to affect us as a family, as a unit, and we didn't want to deal with that. And so we decided, okay, that's the best option for them to move out. Um, living with them, at first it was fine, but then I caught him in a lie, Brian's brother, so it didn't really sit well with me. and. I don't forgive as easy as Brian. And Brian's like, kind of like, okay, I see. And then he just kind of let it go. And uh, to me, I just don't really see myself like tolerating such behavior. It had something to do with financials. And then throughout the time, I just felt like being pregnant and he was poking at me a lot. And so I was being irritated. And I had to do a lot of catering when I was pregnant. so. I just basically couldn't breathe and a lot of times um, his brother had really bad dry humor so I didn't feel that anything that he said was funny or poking fun at me or even like remotely like something that I would think that it was okay to say. It was very insensitive and so I just kind of stepped away and stuck in the room the whole time because I didn't want to deal with that kind of behavior. So um, now that they're gone, I'm out here, I'm able to breathe and um, just kind of just do us as a unit, as our family. I feel like every single year we have to deal with some sort of issue and we should just like, you know, next time just be like, no, we, we have to think about our family first and then, and then deal with everything afterwards. So, yeah, um, every year, I swear, <laughs> but um, I'm glad that it's over, and next time we should just put a foot down, for sure, for sure, sure. So, basically. Just picked my boy up. How you doing, Scoops? Good? Busy eating? Gosh, he loves these um, chocolate croissants from Costco. They're pretty bomb, actually. <laughs> They're called Pan Al Chocolate. He's home and very clingy. <laughs> we got taquitos ready for him. This boy is actually like his dad. He like sat here, took off his socks, and just tossed it over here. Mm-hmm. He gonna learn today. Now we have healthy eats for dad, cauliflower, and shrimp. Okay, let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh. 
Baby's crying all day. Are you okay? Did you fall? He was hanging out with the baby right here, and then he fell. Here, come up. You're okay, honey. You're okay. You're hanging out with baby? Yeah, baby's crying. Want to give baby a kiss? Want to give baby a kiss? Mm. Oh, there you go. There you go, honey. <laughs> okay, time for bed, okay? Time for bed. Can you give baby a kiss? The other baby a kiss? This one's rain. Say hi. Give him a kiss. Thank you. Oh my goodness. All right, now that I'm free to roam my house, I am down here and we have lots and lots of toys that we need to really get together. Like what is going on here? Um, these came from you and Kathleen. It's very colorful. You know what the heck is going on? Then we got um, all these RV stuff. So it's starting to look pretty crazy in this house. Um, yeah, so we gotta we gotta clear out because I can't. Yeah, it's it's just gonna be a little bit too much. Um, okay, so once again, we had to make the decision to, you know, pull the plug and let them go do their own thing. They're old enough. They should be able to. I know that we help a lot of people, but we always fall in the same circle of, like, people just starting to use us, take advantage of us, and being so entitled. It wasn't a good feeling, and, you know, for example, like... You know, Brian and I pay for everything, and so we'll be sitting here enjoying, like, some champagne, and his brother would be like, oh, cheers, man, this is on you. You know, stuff like that bothers me, like comments, and it doesn't, it's not funny. I don't know why someone would say that and think it's okay to say it to someone else, knowing that we take care of that person from head to toe when it comes to their rent, we just bought him a car, you know, phones, electronics, everything that we paid for. Even when I was eight months pregnant, I was just so, like, tired. But I still had to take care of their necessity, like, essentials every day. You know, I, I just felt really tired, and I shouldn't be doing that. And especially for grown-ups, you know. And we need to just, like, cut the cord quick before it gets too crazy. So now, you know... We have a lot on our plates, and we gotta just really, really think about our own family. Um, every year we we have the same issues. The first was my parents, and then it was Brian's parents, and then it was his family, and then it was my family, and it was Tiger, and it was just like we the same cycle, and we should just like cut it out. And so. Yeah, I just didn't want to deal with any more, like, shady sketchiness that has been going around here, so... I can finally just get a breather and... Yeah. <sighs> really, really... Clean out. Cleared out this room, too. So they moved out and... We gave them the couch, which, uh, which is something I wanted to get rid of, but... This one's still here for Brian to play. And it holds a very sentimental value because this is the first couch that we bought, you know, here together. So he's like, I don't want to let it go. But he did let go one for his brother and the bed that we had here for Steve. But this is going to be Brian's VR room to exercise and work out. Hopefully he loses the weight that he said he would. Well, we, we do All right. Good night, guys.